having a content creation strategy, you're shooting in the dark because you're not going to have anybody who's going to follow you for any period of time. It's going to make it very hard for somebody to have something to grasp onto to say, you know what, you're the type of person that I want to follow. You're the type of person I want to join your trainings. You're the type of person that I can see being my coach. How are they ever going to say that if you don't create a body of work? And what we do as coaches, as trainers, as speakers, I don't care what you want to label yourself. For us to really provide value and get paid for our services, you got to have a content creation strategy. Without that, you're always going to find it hard for you to get people. That's what I've been able to do over the years. I got better at creating content that's relevant for my ideal audience. And in return, they said, you give more value. You give better value. You are more authentic. And I love what you do versus what this other person does or these other people do. And because of that, I'm willing to give you, I'm willing to exchange my attention for your value. And if the value is good enough, I think, I might want to do business with. I think we should have a conversation. And that's all that we do as, you know, what we if you've had coaches or mentors before, that's all we've been doing, right? We like to follow the people that we can connect to and that provides great value, but realize that when the roles are reversed and it's flipped and now you are the leader or you're the creator or the coach, realize that people are going to rock with you for the same reasons. So, a lot of the times the challenge is we're not taking the time to actually create the body of work and to create the content that's going to attract the people that we can help. Right? Think about it. If you have if you have a program in place and you say, "Okay, I want to be even if you don't have a program in place, so if you really want to be honest, whether you have a program in place or not, let's be real. You have knowledge that you want to give to the world, but a lot of times we don't really know the most effective way to be able to do that. So because we don't know the most effective way, a lot of times we shy away from it and we don't put it out. That used to be me. When I started, I had a lot of knowledge that I wanted to be able to help college students with, but I was afraid of actually going into the world and putting it out. I was afraid of what people would say. I was afraid of the judgment. I was afraid of failing. So a couple of things is one is having a clear idea of who your audience is. Clarity of your audience makes a big difference. So a clarity of your audience means what coach T you should know who your client, ideal client is. Your, our whole goal is to come up with is to create is, is if we can have it the way that we wanted it, just like snap our fingers, you should want to have a massive amount of followers. That's your perfect ideal client. If you was a magician, massive amount of followers that are your ideal client. That's essentially what you want to have, right? A uh, uh, a thousand or ten thousand or hundred thousand of your ideal clients are better than one. Because once that one buys, all right, even if you even if you do charge 10000 for your program, 10000 came, 10000 went. But what if you had 10,000 people following you that were all your ideal client? You can now have, now you can now get a new client. You can make 10000 a week now. Do you feel what I'm saying? So the more people that you get to follow you, that's your ideal client, the more revenue you would generate because you just have more people that are going to buy from you. And it's just that simple, right? Now, somebody usually asks me, they say, okay, Coach T, well, how do I actually, um, how do I actually like get those, get that fan base? How do I come up with the fan base? So once you understand who you want to help and how you want to help them, your goal is to put out relevant content. So you should be putting out at least 80% of the content that you put online should be relevant to your ideal, uh, uh, ideal client. Meaning, Let's just say you focus on people who or who need to overcome trauma. Well, why don't you put out tips and tricks in in training to help people overcome trauma? Because if you do that, what are they going to do? They're going to consume your content on a consistent basis. But if you're not doing that, they might come across your page every so often, like something every so often. But they'll never make the connection in their mind that they need to work with you because you haven't been putting out the content consistently that they care about. So our job as content creators, our job as thought leaders, our job as coaches, speakers, trainers, our job is to put out the type of content that's going to allow somebody to really binge watch our content. What we really want is somebody to come across our page. Think about a new person. 
when you have a new person that's going to come, they might come across you through a hashtag. Somebody might have referred them to you. Maybe you went live and they decided to check you out one day and they like your content, whatever it is. So let's say um, somebody just happened to come, comes, comes across your page. They watch a video. They say, yo, this video was dope. I'm trying to learn how to overcome trauma or I'm trying to learn how to start on my business. So I'm trying to learn how to, you know, live a more fulfilled life. Okay. So I come across your content and I say, okay, wow, these are some good tips on mindset or whatever. Let me see what else this person has. So then, and I'm, I'm giving you the journey of somebody who becomes a fan and then becomes a client. What's going to happen is they're going to watch the one video that they're going to like. And then they're going to start scrolling through your profile, whether it's Instagram, Facebook, LinkedIn, TikTok, I don't care what it is. They're going to start scrolling and looking at other content that you like, that they like from you. And the more that they watch your content and the more that they like it, the more that they are becoming a fan. And once they like a certain amount of content, they're going to be like, yo, I like this person. And they might follow. They might subscribe. That's how you know you have real fans, right? They might follow. They might subscribe. You got people who admire you from afar. But if they really want to see your content, they'll like, they'll subscribe, or you'll continue to see. You ever had somebody in your comments or somebody that uh, when you look at your likes, you keep seeing like the same person popping up? And you're like, oh, wow, this really this person really must like my content because I keep seeing their name pop up. Well, that's that's how you know you're, you're putting out content that people are feeling because you're starting to get the same people who are liking and stuff over and over and over. So you obviously have a theme to what you're teaching and what you're training on, right? So they're going to start really liking your stuff. Once they really start liking it and they become, you know, they start to know you, they start to like you, you know, they, they really start trusting you because they're seeing you more often. Then when you do something else that's higher value, maybe you give something away. Maybe you do a training. So let's say, let's say you're going to do a one day boot camp or one day conference, or maybe you just do a one hour Zoom training on a particular topic. Now, when you give away something more or something higher value, they're going to want to be as part, be a part of that because, hey, listen, I've been following you for days, for weeks, for months now. I'm feeling the type of content that you're giving. Let me participate and let me join something that is that's more engaging. Let me join. Let me be. Let me learn from you on a deeper level. This is when they get the, the pen and the pad out. This is when they taking notes. This is when they really taking what they have seriously with you. Right. So now you're in a place where you took somebody who didn't know who you are to liking a photo or a video to liking multiple photos or videos and following you to now they're on a Zoom training or they're part of something. Maybe you do something in person, whatever. But now they're let's just say they were on a training, elevated value. And now you do a call to action and say, hey, if you have any questions or if you just want to connect with me and see if I can help anyway, hey, let's jump on a call. Now they're on a call and now they, they sign up for your program. And literally that's going to be the trajectory. That's going to be the trajectory of a majority of people who want to work with you. Because in our industry, in our space, if you're really charging high ticket, which I recommend all of us charge high ticket. If you're really working high ticket with people, you should... You should be have you should have some type of process where they speak with you or somebody on your team. The reason being is I see a lot of people who they got this whole game twisted. I'm telling you, there's a lot of coaches out here like that. They, they don't get this type of level of, of training that we give in. And this is just a free game I give you, right? The mentorship Mondays. And what I see is because they don't have this type of training, they go out into the marketplace. And one, they're probably they're trying to push their they're, they're trying to push their program too hard. Buy from me, buy from me. Oh my God, coach with me, coach with me, coach with me. And because they're pushing the market too hard, people say, "Whoa, listen, why are you so thirsty? <laughs> like, hold on, wait a minute. Like, I, obviously, if you go if you got to go this hard, it must what you have must not be that good." So there's a lot of people that are that are pushing way too hard um, to try to get people interested. Or I see a lot of people on the flip side. They don't they don't push it enough or they don't talk about what they have enough or they're not putting out relevant content. So it's either like, well, I don't really even know this is what you do because I don't really even see you talking about a common theme. Or it's. OK, I see this is what you do, but I don't know that I can work with you because you've never really given a call to action or you've never really given um you never really given examples. 
I've never even heard you say I've worked with a client before. So because I've never heard you say I work with a client before, or I've never even heard you say, y'all was working with this person, this person had this exact same problem, and I helped them go from point A to point B, because you've never even given stories or case studies or examples like that, I don't even know that I can go to you for help. 